Welcome back to another school year. This um, presentation is going to be about the classroom um, expectations, remote learning, grades, and policies of our classroom. Remote learning, if you have not viewed um, the first video dealing with Canvas, um, you need to do that because there will be a specific area in Canvas for your assignments. This is only if you're quarantined, do contact tracing, extended vacation, or you're just absent for an extended period of time, whatever reason that might be. You're still going to be responsible for all your class assignments and projects. I will have a special module in Canvas for remote learning activities only. Um, and it's at the very, very top of the modules, um, very easy to find. If you need supplies, you will contact me ASAP so we can make arrangements for someone to pick up your items, whether it be in the office, in a box, or someone can come by um, the classroom and pick things up. You can request a Google Chat at any time during the school day. Once you have contacted me, at, me via email, and I will set up a time for us to meet. Um, when you schedule it with me, you need to be prompt. Don't be late getting there. Um, if you're like five minutes late, I'm going to close it out and uh, move on with my day. Homework policy. You're expected to be working as soon as you arrive in class. Do not waste time. Students are required to print their full name on the bottom of their projects. No name equals no grade. You will have to take a photograph of your piece when it's done, whether if it's with your cell phone, smartphone, or your computer. Um, and we'll go more over that about how to take pictures with your Chromebook, laptop, whatever it is you, that you have. If you have concerns or questions, you need to ask me. Don't wait to the very last minute. Um, each situation is going to be handled on an individual basis. And make sure that you're working in class. There's going to be more than enough time to get your stuff finished as long as you're on task. All students will use Canvas for due dates, worksheets as needed, and submit photos for your projects. Parents have access to all class, in, class information via the parent portal, um, including due dates, when you've submitted any assignments, grades. So if um, they want to, they can actually look at any comments that I made on your project um, when grading. After you submit, please double check it actually submitted. You're responsible for your work being submitted correctly. If you're absent, it's your responsibility to keep informed via Canvas. And I will have daily class objectives on the whiteboard. If you're absent, I will try to screenshot you those objectives, but they are always going to be in Canvas on the main home page for your class so you're able to go in there <clears throat> excuse me you're able to go in there and view those at any time so there's no excuses for that uh, i have the right to edit change add anything that i need for classes and it can vary per class do not work on other class projects or homeworks i will deduct five points per day on the current assignment so, meaning this is not math class, this is not chemistry class, um, this is an art class. So you need to have your stuff out, you need to be working. Um, I understand once in a while, in a great while, something may come up, you forgot you had a test, you need to ask me first. Don't just assume it's okay. All right, because this is your only warning as far as five points being taken off per day. So if I catch you, I'm not even going to tell you. 
you know what's right and what's wrong, and I will start deducting points. Please do not email me unless it's absolutely necessary. I prefer that students come up and talk to me about situations or questions or whatever. Do not email me during class. <clears throat> yes, it has been done, and I'm sure it will continue, but I, I'm not even going to answer, especially if you're sitting in the class and you email me. I'm not going to answer. Come up and talk to me or holler at me. You know, don't email me if you're sitting right next to me. Art supplies. Miss Berry's art students will have their own supply bag. It is your responsibility to keep up with your supply bag because I do not have extra. If you use up your supplies, please contact me to show me what you have and need. 2D with painting and ceramic glazing. You are responsible for making sure that the glaze, paint, bottles you are using are clean and the lid is tight. Okay, because if you don't have a tight lid, there's a high chance that someone is going to drop the bottle or it spills over. So, classroom rules again, uh, masks are not required, but highly recommended. We are going to be a tight class in here. So, it's highly recommended. I will be wearing a mask. Seating chart is mandatory due to contact tracing. Be on time, you must be in the room before the bell rings, not as it's ringing. If you need to go to the bathroom, you should have enough time between classes. If you don't, you need to kind of take a look and see what you're doing um, because six minutes is quite a lot of time. Um, if it's emergency, you need to come here first. Tell me that, hey, I'm going to be late. But I start class on time, so if you leave, you're not going to get a tardy as long as you tell me, but I'm not going to wait on you. All right, so just be aware of that. Tardy policy, first choice, it's my choice, which I will put into power school. Second, I call home and you get a detention. Third, you, I call home again, and then it's a week's lunch detention. And then after the third, if it continues, we will get an administrator to intervene to solve the issue. No talking when I'm speaking or during announcements. Water is allowed, but no food or sugary drinks. Um, I have found that when people bring sugary drinks in here that they usually spill it. Uh, or something, and then we get a herd of ants invading our classroom. And the reason why not to eat in here is that this will be a dirty room. Okay, this is also a ceramics class. So there will be possibly clay dust on the table. Um, so you need to be aware of that. And that's kind of gross. Be respectful to all your classmates. I don't care what your personal views are. Um, about somebody, not my business, and I'm sure no one else wants to hear it. So be respectful. Clean up your work area. Yes, you will need to clean up after yourself. Wipe down your table area. All students will be receiving an art locker for storage. The introduction to 2D people um, will actually get one of the wall lockers up at the front of the room. A lock is highly suggested, not required. If you make the right choice with a lock, I will need the combo or the extra set of keys just in case if I need to get in there um, to retrieve something for you just in case if you're quarantined. Students will learn and use vocabulary specific for the class. Students are expected to read the project information when they are assigned. 
Students will be responsible for visually documenting their own projects to submit in the correct area in Canvas. Keep track of your own projects. Continued behavior issues. Um, a removal from class will start. Um, and once it's started, the only way you can stop the process is by correcting the problem. Grading. Grades will be determined through rubrics, project criteria, worksheets, tests, following directions, cleanup, and attitude. I will heavily grade projects on basic construction, following specific instruction, and craftsmanship. And this is the TSC grading um, system. So this is what we will follow. Each project will have sp specific criteria you will need to meet. If you don't meet it, you don't get the grade that you could have deserved. So, and also the final exam, right now I believe it's 20%, but that could change. General outlook in high school art. Every student should be able to pass an art course, no matter how talented they may be. Every student is capable of producing their best work. Effort and attitude is very important. A positive approach with a never say I can't attitude is the best way to pass an art course. A student that spends more time and effort above the general requirements for each class will earn a higher grade on that assignment by following the rubric and my directions. A student not showing effort and not fulfilling requirements will earn a grade either average or below average. And then also a talented student who does not produce to their own abilities might earn a lower grade than that of a struggling student who learns and achieves at their own level. This artwork is a mixed media created by a friend of mine, Susan Klein. She is a professional artist. It is possible to fail art. It has been done and it will continue to be done. You must work in class. Yeah. Crazy idea. Be responsible for yourself and your own projects. Originality does not guarantee an A. The project must fit the requirements. Quality is not a substitute for quality. I can't is not acceptable. All projects will have a due date. Keep track of your own assignments and projects. If you have a problem with anything, you need to see me ASAP. Absent and makeup work. It is responsibility for each student to make up missed studio time and assignments as needed. It is your responsibility, not mine. I will email you objectives for the day and what we accomplished. If I do not, you need to refer to Canvas. When I assign an art project, I will give a verbal tentative due date. A finalized due date will be assigned when the majority of the class is halfway through the project. That will allow everyone the appropriate time to finish. You must finish on time so that we can move forward. If you are the only one that's still sitting there working on a project, we're not going to wait for you. We're going to move on, meaning that you're probably going to have to take your project home to work on it. And I do not have a 10th hour class because I am the AM supervisor for detention. Um, so I leave right after 9th hour. The door will be open if you need to come and get your stuff, but I will not be here. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate. Ask me. If you have questions next week, ask me. Something's not clear. Uh, we need to make sure that we uh, correct that so we know what's going on.